creation tax. And now that you are a digital content creator now, I don't know what is your opinion and your view on that clause, especially now that you know they are taxing you, yeah. uh, an opportunity that they've not created for themselves. <laughs> it's you who's gone off the grid to create that opportunity and now it's now taxable. I don't know what you feel and think about that close. Um, I mean, uh, digital creation, content yeah. creation to be specific, is um, new. It hasn't been there. You know, if we are talking about fashion, yeah. fashion was there then, then it died a bit, then it's coming back. But content, digital creation, yeah. it's not something that has been there. It is something new. We're also learning as we move ahead. So it's a bit um, absurd due to lack of words to say that as it grows, you're um, going to tax it yeah. because we are also learning about it. So, right. I mean, I am not in full support. Yeah. But if I mean, we chance, move if regardless. If you get a chance to tell, you know, I don't want that bill. <laughs> what would you tell them? I will literally tell them that I do not want that bill to be passed. Yeah. Yes. Please. She doesn't want it. But I, I feel like that. also content creators, you know, uh, we I think we've had a resurgence. Is it an outburst of like almost now everybody is claiming to be a content creator? Mm -hmm. uh, anybody who has a smartphone, you can easily create a video, post it on your social, and it goes viral now thanks to TikTok. And I think TikTok is where now a lot of Kenyans and Gen Zs are like there, you know. So I think I agree with you. I'm in the same spirit because how can you come to take away the food that I have planted, grown, cooked? I'm just about to eat it and then you We're yank it out of my harvest. table. Right. Yes. So pretty sure a lot of content creators have a lot to say. And uh, still on that note, I saw, uh, what is, uh, he, he, Butita. You remember he went, he was a part of the president's state visit to the US. Yes. So a lot of people are asking why can't he not give his stand? on the finance bill. So uh, on my way here, I just uh, saw an update that his YouTube channel has been suspended, hopefully not deleted, because you know when it's suspended, at least you can petition yes. and have it back. So a lot of people are like at the comment section, yes, he didn't declare his you know, stance on the finance bill. Yes, he was a part of the president, you know, that, uh, you know, but you know, all, all those things, I believe they're helping, but you know, when it comes to now working as a person who's very close to, you know, somebody in power, I think it makes you vulnerable. It does. I mean, yeah. all I can say is whichever position you're holding, yeah. it's, um, you can make change because it's just you and the ability to speak out. Yeah. And also, I will definitely tell them to tread carefully because yes. this is an account you've worked for for so long. You yeah. have put sweat and money and effort in it. Mm -hmm. So for it to be suspended, Right. I mean, fingers crossed it is not banned because I have seen um, a trend here on TikTok. Yes. Uh -huh. If they do not like what you're doing, they will tell you in quotes, Tum Salimie, meaning yeah. <laughs> they will unfollow you. Yeah. You will have, like you, will have you will have gone to uh, yeah. bed with 100,000 followers. And yeah. You wake up and you're like negative a right. few thousand. Mm. So, yes, that definitely can make you feel some type of way, yeah. Yes, because you have put much effort Work, yeah. in creating this brand, which is your brand, yeah. selling out to the public. Yes. So it's definitely tread carefully. Mm. Two words, tread carefully. I, I think it strips you off of your intellectual integrity because it also takes, it takes long to grow social media platforms. Me too, I've been there. <laughs> so when you see people unfollowing or maybe your, your account being suspended, hold. You can cry because you, you can shed cry. A few tears. Yeah. Because content creation is investment. Uh, I can only imagine how much you personally you've invested in your videos. I literally from the lost outfits. count. You lost count. Yes, because uh -huh. it's something you can get in it for the money and maybe yeah. not even succeed. But right. if you're passionate about it, mm -hmm. you will get in and maybe not even get views or even yes. followers. But the consistency is yeah. key. So yes. it's so much about effort because it, it's not a one day job. You don't just yes. wake up and open a TikTok account. I mean, yes, you can, yeah. but it just doesn't grow overnight. It has to, you take have to time. be consistent. Yes, yeah. and take time. It takes time. And then also that art of creativity, not everyone has it. True. You know, not everyone can just sit in front of the camera and you start giving people details. It takes a special type of, you know, talent, right? And even that gift of talking. 
you must have polished it. So please don't unfollow, <laughs> especially people that have taken time. And still on matters and following. So today, um, as of yesterday, we saw uh, arrested uh, activists that were protesting for a quest for justice, especially when it comes to hashtag reject a finance bill. Uh, Boniface Mwangi has been on the front line as well, alongside Hussein Khalid and Hanifa Farasafi that were released yesterday at uh, the DC High headquarters. And initially they, they presented themselves there. You know, it was like, it, it was like they, were being they were being targeted by security agencies. And instead of them going into hiding, they were like, we've not done anything wrong. Yes. Let's present ourselves to the DCI. Matuambie. And they went and apparently they were not even charged and they were released unconditionally. I think uh, they said they were taken, was it industrial area to record a statement and then after that they were released. So I don't know if you saw that and I think it has created this fear because there's been massive uh, abductions. Yeah. There's, a, there's a, another activist who was I think on JKL last week called Shadrach, he was yes. Kiprono, he was also abducted. Uh, there's Japrado, he's a doctor who was actually assisting people that were demonstrating last week, also abducted, but he was released. Uh, there's, is, is he called Billy something, Billy the Goat, or uh, the Nairobi creator, he was also abducted and but released. Yes. So a lot of uh, critics are saying this is a move to ensure that Gen Z's are not going to make it to the streets because today is that day, total shutdown. Total shutdown. So a lot of people are making it as... Uh, Actually, they're processing it as, you know, being targeted by the government to not go for their quest, which is reject the finance bill. I don't know if you saw that and what's your reaction? On um, it? Yes, I did see it and yeah. it's quite um, fearful. Um, maybe due to lack of words, neither same kutuzia woga. Yes. But um, the same two words, definitely tread carefully and just, just be careful because yeah. you do not know what can happen. But also I saw that um, Boneface, um, they went to the DCI offices yes. and it was an act of, can I say faith or even something like that? Because yes. uh -huh. to me Bila, we have no problem. We are yes. here protesting peacefully mm -hmm. and we don't have any problem and I think yes. that's an, it's a very good initiative yes. and also because today is Tuesday which is total shutdown, Shut down. hashtag <laughs> financial bill yeah. uh, 2024. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that we are the generation to make change yes. because um, we have gone to school. Mm -hmm. Even though we have not read the full financial bill, yeah. um, there are some clauses. But personally, that for me, I've read the that have? all of it. Yes, it's um, there are some clauses that, uh -huh. in, if I may say in Gen Z term, they are yes. giving the ick, or mm -hmm. more like they are not giving. Yes. Because I saw like uh, there's the clause on land. Mm -hmm. Initially, it was a lease, which is, if yeah. I am not wrong, is mm -hmm. the land um, in like towns ETC, which you yeah. pay to the government. Mm -hmm. So in this um, case, even title deeds right, yeah. are into this game. Mm -hmm. If you They're have your own, yes, like if you have your own now. piece yeah. of land, mm -hmm. title deed, when once the, the financial bill is passed, if mm -hmm. it is going to be passed, which is the yeah. third uh, reading, yes. um, you will also be Kweyo Kikundi. Mm. So, um, definitely. Yeah, the point, the interesting, the point that also caught my attention, there's this part where it says, for unemployed persons, if you are 25 years and above and you're staying with somebody who has income, yeah. you will have to forcefully part with the 300 bob every end of the month. And uh, some of the reactions that I saw from the experts who were talking about it, they were like, if th this person is crushing, at his friend's house or at his relative's house. He's a, he or she is unemployed. Maybe they're even impaired, could be even mentally or even physically, right, challenged. And you're forcing them to part with 300 bob every end of the month. Yes. So where, where are they gonna get that money? And what if the person hosting them doesn't even have that kind of money to support them? So I think that also contributes to the mm. massive outrage. Like, I'm unemployed, I don't have money, I'm struggling. You are struggling to eat, find a, just one meal per day, because there's, there's people who can't even put two meals yeah. on the table in this system right now, as yes, we speak. Yes, in this economy. And yes, now I'm a part of a friend, and I'm Shikam Kono, and then you want to you know, tax them True. some money that they don't have. So I think also that contributes to the yes, outrage. Yes, definitely. And even uh -huh. considering, because that uh, part, uh, particular segment, uh, the 25, 
and above, mm -hmm. it holds a much weight. Yeah. It needs even more time and more time to even uh, talk about it and mm -hmm. uh, kuichambua. Right. So even as it being uh, Empowerment Tuesday, please do keep us informed here and on all our social media platforms at Y254, that is Instagram, uh, X, definitely. Keep it locked. Uh, so sound.